Hanak are famed for their nymphing rods and I own a number of these myself, I really should reduce the number. This year though, they released a new range of rods with the tag RS. This stands for Race Sense. Speed, slenderness, sensitivity and performance are all promised from this rod. I have been using the rod all season. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Before we head down to the river then, I just want to tell you that I did do an out the tube review of this rod. And in that review, it covers how the rod's finished, length, action, all the sort of advertising blurb but in this video we're going to concentrate on what I think of how the rods performed so let's lock up the car and get down to the river give you some idea what I'm used to wielding as my dry fly rod is an Orbis Helios 8 foot 6 for a 3 weight and I've always found that exceptional it's quite a fast action rod so when I first picked up this rod I did find it a bit unwieldy um, it's a very soft slow action it's ideal for playing small wild fish um, with a soft tip it can cope with fish surging away so you can fish really fine tippets with it and that's a big plus in my um, textbook because a lot of the times when you're fishing with a faster action rod you find when you catch these smaller fish which are great fun on light tackle they tend to bounce off on the stiffer rods so that's a score for Hanak Okay, I'm actually fishing duo here. As you can see, there isn't much flow to the water and 
Uh, the fish get a very long time to look at your fly, so I'm fishing something very tiny. I'm not even going to show you up to the camera. It's a size 20, and it's basically some thread on a hook. Now, the uh, the rod seems to cope with you no problem whatsoever, and it also, at a push, will fish a small streamer. I've done that in the past, uh, throughout the season, when I've got to a deeper hole, or I've thought there might be a chance of some perch, I've, uh, I've employed this rod as a streamer. Um, you don't want to put too big a weight on it. I bow and arrow casted with the rod and it does do a job for me. Um, very small streamers, no more than three and a half, three mil beads and uh, it copes with that no problem. Now, although I'm catching small fish, small wild fish here, I have put it to the test on some bigger even stockies on the services dry fly water and again it has coped quite well with the bigger fish you've just got to remember with a softer action rod you've got to let the rod do the work and not try and bully the fish in there seems to be a trend currently to go for longer dry fly rods uh, in the 10 foot bracket now i understand the theory beside that you want to keep as much fly line off the water as possible uh, just fishing your tippet i've even heard of some guys using a french leader to fish dry flies now I like the 9 foot 3, I think it's uh, the best of both worlds, so you get the accuracy of a shorter rod, but you get the length to lift as much fly line off the water as possible. With my uh, Orbis rod that I use, the Helios 8 foot 6, I sometimes feel I can't get enough line off the water with the compromise of being too close to the fish. So overall, throughout the year I've been very impressed with this rod. Initially I didn't think I was going to get on with it. The action seemed a little bit too soft for me. Coming from a competition background, most of my rods are pretty fast actioned and uh, it took me maybe three or four outings really to appreciate that the way this blank's been designed. It's got a lovely soft action and it performs admirably. Now, it's great for short line work but it can also put out a reasonable line. Um, on the River Avon where I am, it's a chalk stream. The river's generally quite clear and you can't often get very close to the fish without them being spooked. Um, the beat sees quite a lot of pressure. It's very popular. I'm on the rush all stretch of the Manningford estate and uh, it's full of fish, but they're not so easy to tempt. And uh, this rod's been an absolute joy to use. Now, yeah, of course, you all want to know what's the crunchy bit and uh, I'm going to tell you now I'm, and I'm going to put the tin hat on because this rod comes in at about 650 euros which is about around 600 pounds it's a lot of money but it's a lot of rod so I have paid more for rods in the past for my reservoir rods I've paid up to 800 pounds which is a lot of money but uh, what I would say to people that are cringing at the price is I've got friends that collect Porsches and uh, <laughs> you know I can't even imagine how much they cost so if you want to spend a bit of money on a fly fishing rod if that's your passion and hobby well why not and you could do much more than this is a dry fly rod there is much more expensive rods on the market i would say there's much cheaper rods on the market i suppose it depends on how much you want to be using the best kit and i would say that and i include the helios in this that this is a better fly fishing rod now i can't speak for the warranty i haven't really looked in at that but i will put it in the description below what the warranty process is it's a great rod and if I had the money I would certainly be thinking about purchasing one. I may still even sell my Helios and purchase one of these. I'm that impressed with it. But in the meantime I'll take it home, I'll clean it up and I'll get it ready to hand back to Franta. And I'd like to say thanks very much to Hanak for their kind donation of the rod for the season. It's still in one piece, I'm pleased to say, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at the Grayland Festival to hand it back. Thanks for watching the video. If you're enjoying what you're seeing, folks, please don't forget to subscribe and always give the video a like.